on. You want to say hi to the ladies? Get up and show them. What is that? Is that something new? Go ahead. You want to get up there? You better do it now because pretty soon I'm throwing your ass off. You better get after it. All right. If you're watching the recording, we're just waiting for people to come. Um, I'm sitting here yakking with the cat. I'm not talking to myself, but I do that a lot too. Yep. I'm going to fill this fusion shows <laughs> with um, the new mission watercolors. So that's kind of what's going to go on this morning. Let me get a pop out chat. Hi, Picola. All right, we got people. Apparently, a notice went out. So we'll just wait. A few people knew I was coming on this morning. So be long. Anyway, hi, Picola. Hope you're having a good day. So far, mine's been absolutely useless. I have done nothing useful. Social media. <laughs> I think I said 11 Eastern. Yeah, I said 11 Eastern. So, we'll give people a few minutes. Aren't these pretty? Oh, my gosh. They're so pretty. Uh, I tried ironing the foil onto a laser copy, and it works great. Oh, cool. Like, really, you used a, an iron? Which, which kind of foil were you using? Like the press-on kind that I've been using, or did you get that heat transfer foil? There's there's different kinds, so I never know. Where is everybody? Good Lord. There's Lena. Okay, you used the deco foil. Oh, and that worked good. Ooh. I don't have a laser printer, though. I sure want one, though, but I'm not going to get one. I hardly ever use my printer. I really hardly ever use my printer. I know this is exciting, Lena. And Eileen just really does not get it that this is important stuff that you got to do. <sighs> Could be life changing. You know, you can't just jump right in. No plan in mind. So. But they're so pretty right now, I hate to even disturb them. But we're going to, your life is going to change here momentarily. Hi, Kimberly. 24 tubes, how many mil? I got a 24 well palette. I bought it specifically for this. I'll only put the mission in here. I'm pretty sure. My cat's up here. So um, let's see, there's 369, 18, 19, 20, 22, 20, yeah, 24. Yeah, she's petting him with her tail. Little Miss Grumpola. She's looking at me because I'm touching her. She's looking at me like, I'm not sure if I should bite you or scratch you. See? Look at her. She's She just bit me. That's my cat. I'm not kidding you. I'm just being nice and you bite me. What the hell is your problem? You forget. I could throw you out the window. Hi, Karen. I'm having a little spat with the cat here. No... No worries. Yeah, I don't have to leave out a tube or anything. Yeah, I'm just being nice to her, you know, just like petting her. She, she gets up here and invites it. She does this with strangers, too, and it scares me. Because she is a pretty little cat, and she acts all ha nice and pretty, and she'll walk up to people. But as soon as they put their hand down to tell her how pretty she is or be nice to her, she'll bite them or scratch them. I don't know what her deal is. One Christmas Eve, you know, we had a lot of people here and she decided she and normally when there's strangers, she will just go hide, which is good. But it was my family. So she knew him and um, she got up in one of the chairs and I reached over to push her out, you know, because somebody needed to sit there. And um, oh, my God, she attacked me like I was bleeding back. So hi, Judy. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't get cats. I think they're schizoid freaks, and uh, I'm not sure why we bring them into our home and feed them incessantly. Oh, yeah, she'll growl. She'll get up in this window and see something outside. She will growl like a lion. I mean, just like, Arr. Okay, Xander's website. Oh, you're going to love it, Karen. It's Paint and Paper Studios. Um, I had a business card here. I need to keep that business card right here. I'm going to get it. I'm going to have to remember to get it. Hi, Eileen. Finally, it's about time. Hi, Lynn. All right, we're getting some people here. But yeah, Paint and Paper Studio will get you there. And she's got really fun stuff. In fact, I'm expecting a package from her today. It might come while I'm on. Hi, Christy. So anyway, um, if you came in, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and fill my palette with these. And I watched a bunch of videos. And um, Xander had told us the other night um, to wash your um, palette or scrub it down with toothpaste first. So I went ahead and did that. But I don't know. Um, let's see. Do I have another watercolor here? I don't know if it scuffed it up enough. Um, the, the water won't be. Let's give it a try real quick. These are Daniel Smith watercolors in here. And I'm just going to use this. We'll just give it a go real quick. Oops, I should have put water in there. Oh, it's, I think it's going to work fine. And that's so your water doesn't beat up. And so if you want to mix, I'll just get, let's see, we'll do, I don't have, we'll just use this. Yeah, see, so you can mix and it doesn't bead and break apart. Yeah, this is going to work fine. Going to work just fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so I meant to do that little experiment before I did all this because I might have had to do something different. All right, let's clean that little mess up that we've got going now. Because I want this perfect for just the missions. Oh, good. The cat left. Maybe she'll go bite Robert. Did I buy these from Xander? No, I did not. These were gifted to me by Scooby. Um, and we all know Scooby from um, Dee Dee's. That's where I met Scooby. Um, and I, yeah, she's just been so kind, so generous. Um, definitely encouraging, you know. Um, I want a perfect palette. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi, Kat. Hi, anybody I missed. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Um, so I did watch some videos about, you know, mistakes you can make and stuff like that. Um, and I had watched CC's. It's been a while since I watched CC's um, where she kind of set hers up different. Lindsay, the frugal crafter, um, you got foil. <laughs> Sucka. <laughs> um, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, says to set it up in rainbow order. Um, and I trust her. I really do. I think she knows exactly what she's doing. Hi, Delina. Um, but I kind of like the, the way Cece did it, where you keep all your warm colors together, all your cool colors together, and the neutrals kind of in the middle. But this palette is really weird because they don't go all the way across. So there's section here, section here, section here. And that's why I thought it would be perfect to do it warm colors, cool colors, neutrals down here. Oh, there's a little fault in there, but that's okay. Oh, no, that's toothpaste. <laughs> that looks like my bathroom sink. There's always toothpaste sitting in the bottom of it. Well, that's a bad deal, right? Why does the watercolor that April sells level out so awesome from the tube to the pants? I don't know, Eileen, but I was watching her for a little while um, the other day when she was filling up that mini palette 
which was gorgeous. Um, but I haven't looked into the paints too much because I I've decided I really probably have enough. I got to check and see if I got any more toothpaste. No, I think I got it all. I really, I thought I did it really good, but apparently I didn't. Anyway. Um, let's see. What are there for people I subscribe to streaming right now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the it's called Renaissance, I think. Um, but it's spelled different than the real Renaissance, right? Um, yeah, they do look awesome. And I think she said they're from Korea. Hi, G. Brody. Okay, April said she thought it was the honey. That could very well be. Um, and they look so tempting. But honestly, at some point you have to say enough is enough. You know, like you get so much stuff you can't. It's Poland. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, well, you can't play with all the stuff you've got already. So, and Eileen, we have to admit it. We are there already. We are so there. The only thing I wasn't sure about, this one, of course, has a white and a black in it. And all watercolor people say they don't use the white and the black. So those, I guess, are going to go with the neutrals. Um, I am going to put them in, but I think I'm just going to start with the yellows and go all the way down to the reds and then do blues and greens. So let's see how this is going to work out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what I would consider warm colors, which will put me down into here. And then there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is perfect for right here. And then the neutrals will go down here. If you don't like the smell of the toothpaste, I missed something. I don't even know what, I don't even want to know what, what that is. So I have never, ever filled a palette before. But I think what I'm going to do, based on the videos that I watched, they said get it down in the corners and then spread it out with um, a toothpick. So I'm going to start in here because I've got it upside down now. But I think it'll be easier than doing it the way it was. So here we go. I'm a little nervous. Is the first tube in the set a white or a light yellow? The first tube over here, Lena, the way it's laid out, the way they sent it is a white, a Chinese white. All right, Janet, stop, stop. Okay, Whew. Lena's telling me to stop, so I'm going to stop because I trust her a lot. She's already done this before. Yeah, this is Chinese white that they put in here. Now, I did not really play with it to know if it, is like real Chinese white. You know, Chinese white is very opaque and um, and nice. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna wait until, see what Lena has to say to me. She's going, stop. <laughs> if you look at the wells, the way they are slanted right now is the right side up. Okay, but for filling, it still makes more sense to approach them from this angle. Um, and when, let's see, when you put it together, let me see here. I already scrubbed the mixing tray and put it back in. Oh, I guess I can put this in either way. So it doesn't really matter which way I actually put it in. I think when it came, it was like this, which means I would have to reach for the paint, which I won't want to do. I'm going to want to do it where the paint is closest to me, and I'll probably use these two wells for mixing. Okay, yeah, so that's what I'll end up doing is when I actually put it in the, the palette itself, I'll just put it this way so that the paint is closer to me. I think I said hi, Mac. See? Okay. Yeah, okay. That's how I'm going to do it then. Because, yeah, both of these trays, this is really a nice palette. It's um, 
called Fusion, and I saved the box to show it because I'm going to throw it away as soon as I'm done here. Um, it's Fusion 24 Airtight Leak-Proof Watercolor Palette, 24 colors. And I don't know what I, I paid for it, um, and I can't pronounce that either. If I had to, I'd say Miejo, because I don't think it's Magello. Eileen, you be nice. So anyway, now that can go in the trash because I only saved that to show you guys. And then the cool thing is, and Lena did this on her palette. She wrote um, the names of the different paints. These have little um, openings in between each of the palettes. So I went ahead and measured out. And I'll, then after I get it all set up, I'll put these little um, pieces of paper in there um, that will have the names of them. So, but I will also do a, a little swatch sheet too. Yes, these are the Mission Gold. Yeah, and where's the top of the box? I maybe won't be able to get it off. But yeah, these are the Mission Gold. Hang on. I'll try and get the box out of the top. There we go. They appear to be really nice. And I did watch a couple of videos. Um, and I've not heard anything bad about them, really. I really have not. So, yep. The only thing is, there's, what did the brochure say? There's like a hundred and some, 126 colors. I don't need that many because really 24 is almost too many um, for me. But yeah, if I really love them, uh, what am I going to do with 126? And most of them are light fast. That's one thing um, I've heard other people talk about, that they're very high quality and they're light fast, which um, if you, you know, sell your artwork or display your artwork, that's a really valuable thing. I have not done that yet, and I doubt I will. But all right, Lena, question. I'm thinking since I've got seven of the warm colors, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to start over here with the yellow. I'm going to put the white and the black here, and then the neutrals will go from here to here. I think that's what I'm going to do. White and black will just sit in these two wells right here. So don't let me forget that when I get there, okay? Hi, Jean. You need to do a mixing chart. I'm going to do that, Eileen. I've not done it. I've done it with my colored pencils, um, but I've not done it with my paint. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with these. Hi, Siren. I'm sorry you're exhausted. I feel like I only got four hours sleep, but I didn't. I got way more than that. All right. I'm not sure how to do this, so let's give it a go. I'm not gonna put a lot of paint in. I don't know what's considered a lot of paint, actually, but that should be enough to get started, don't you think? All right, and the white and the black, I'll just set out down here so I don't forget them. And I'm going to be, it's going to be look like I'm working backwards. Oh, wait. I already screwed up. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to be the same, right? Yeah, it's all going to be the same. Because I'm going to say I should have started up here, yellow, but I'll just start and go that way. It's fine. I didn't screw up. Well, different than my plan, but it'll be okay. Yeah, these um lay really nice in the palette. I thought I was going to have to poke them in the corners with a toothpick. But they're going in really nice and smooth. So that's cool. And this is going to be like real exciting. You didn't, I didn't wipe the type of top of the tube. Am I supposed to? I'll start doing that. I'll get out a baby wipe. I guess it would be good so that they don't stick and dry, right? All right. I'll wipe its little butt, Elaine. Jeez. I knew she was going to get in the ass before I even started this. Hi, Sandra. Laying out some new watercolors today. 
it's kind of different backwards from the way you would read, right? Starting at the bottom, going up, but it's okay. It's all what you get used to, I guess. All right, I got to wipe this little butt, according to Eileen. All right, and I'll open up those other two and wipe their little butts, too. <sighs> and if you came in late, you missed my cat attacking me. <laughs> little winch. All right, we have to wipe. Of course, now the cap's all trashed out, so what the hell difference does it make? We're doing this to make Eileen happy. That one didn't get wiped very good. Oh, Jean, shh. I'll still use my other ones, though. They're my art on the couch um, paints, and I've always kept them, like the Primas. I've always kept them um, out on the couch. <clears throat> so they'll still be out there and I'll still use them in the bees. But I, I suspect you're right, Jean, that after I give these, because I do like the Daniel Smiths. And when I am just going to like paint with Lindsay real quick, I will usually pick up the Daniel Smiths. So you don't want to hear me crying. All right. I'm, I'm wiping them. Eileen, just cut me some slack, girl. Look at my hands are already a mess. I wanted to do this so bad all day yesterday. Um, but I made myself do my responsible stuff before I could play with anything. And then when I started thinking about it, it was like, oh, you need to wash that palette with toothpaste anyway. So I let it dry overnight. A handle that doesn't work. Oh, my God, Lena. You don't need to be bringing that up. <laughs> I could be saying what these colors are. I will as I go. This is lemon yellow. This is permanent yellow deep. This is yellow orange. This one was permanent red. This one is quinacridone permanent rose. This one is rose matter that I'm getting ready to do right now. Seems like you're wasting a lot of paint when you wipe these lids, but I guess it's what you got to do. I could put a little Vaseline on there. And help the handle. Yeah, I'm excited about using them. I really am. I did that one quick swatch thing, you know, by myself just to get a feel for them. And, um, yeah, I loved them. So I'm really excited to actually dig in and do something now i i don't not sure that i have pink well other than the jane davenport and the primas but in the daniel smiths and all that i don't have a good pink and that is a pretty pink all right now i'm going to do the white and the black and i know that's probably a weird place for them to be but um, oh, this white is really thick, so I think it is going to be much like Chinese white. I hope it is, and that one I don't need to wipe because it didn't even get messy. But yeah, that'll be nice if that really is like the Chinese white, and then I'll do the black next to it. A new palette. I know, Dee Dee, right? I had to buy a special. Yeah, I'm not going to put Vaseline on it. Um... Yeah, I had to buy it special for these mission paints that um, Scooby sent. And I know most watercolor um, people don't use the blacks um, that come with this set. So um, I'll probably treat the 
um, black, more like a gray because this one has like zero grays. So it will be my only gray. All right, now I got to switch over. I'm going to have a really pretty baby wipe when I'm done. Um, now I'm going to switch to this side and do the cool colors over here. And I'll do them just in the order. Um, ugh, that they came. So the purple will be down here. And it only has the one purple, so I'm going to have to get adept at mixing purple, apparently. Unless this one will do it well enough. Hell, I don't even know how much will you use purple. And I'm not putting a lot of paint in. So um, I did hear a lot of people when I was watching the videos about doing this um, say that tube paint if you're going to watercolor a lot, tube paint um, is definitely more economical in the long run. You pay more up front, but in the long run, it saves you money. I will never um, use up an entire paint palette, I'm sure, but I don't know. I've been having fun using them um, on our sketch a day. Um, I, I set some rules for myself that I'm going to, um, and that was the first one was bright, clear violet. And the next one was cerulean blue. And this one is cobalt blue number one. Um, but I set some rules for myself for the sketch a day. I can only take 10 minutes. Um, the first day I obviously spent a lot more time than that. And I thought, oh, this is going to turn into another Inktober. And if I'm going to do this long term, it, it's really going to jack with me, especially during December when I have so much to do. So I'm, I'm limiting my sketches to 10 minutes. And I've been using different products to color them in. So, for example, yesterday's where I did the pants, where these stupid boys wear their pants falling off their butts. Um, I used Neo Color 2s. The day before, I used, I think, um, Prima watercolors. So I'm making myself use different products too, so that um, I'm actually using all the products that I have. This is Peacock Blue. Oh, it's so yummy. Oh, I want to lick it. You have tubes when your son was young. And they still work great. Yeah. So these tubes will paint a lot of pictures. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure of that, Jean. Yeah. Because I'm always shocked about how how far just a little bit of paint will go. So, and this is ultramarine. Yeah, because I'm not using hardly any. Oops, I almost put that on there. Eileen was going to yell at me. Yeah, there's like a ton of paint still left in there. That was ultramarine. Now the indigo. So I think I am going to like this palette. Um, I actually have another palette that's kind of like this. My niece um, had loaded it with, um, what are they? The Is it the Daniel Smith that has the, um, oh, I'll have to get it out. Or no, maybe it's the M. Grams. <clears throat> I got to get another baby wipe. I'm getting too messy. Yeah, gee, Brody, it's just going to work um, better for me to have a time limit and then just use different products. And yeah, it, because I'm going to enjoy doing it, but I can't commit to like a great drawing every day. I just can't. 
Um, and the sketches are kind of fun. And if you look at the Draw My Day book itself, hers look like just quick little sketches, you know, who knows her level of ability. She's obviously very good. Um, yeah, who knows? Got to go to the trash. Yeah. So you put the paint in the well and then let it dry. That's my plan. Karen. Um, hi, Carol B. Um, that, that's my plan is that I'm not going to use these right away. Now I'm wondering because I'm going to a green now, Viridian, if I should just start over here rather than start here and go backwards. I think I will. I'll start here. Yeah, I'm going to start here and do the three greens this way. Um, because it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of getting used to where to find them after I'm using them, right? But Eileen, she just didn't get it. She was just like, just put the damn paints in there. <laughs> it's like, no, this is like a liver transplant. Are you kidding me? For Pete's sake, you can't just slap it in there without any thought. Now, when I go to swatch these i've got to remember that i did that or go back and watch this video again so that was viridian that i just put in there next one is hooker's green what the hell something just took over my computer hang on gotta get chat back okay i'm gonna order that this afternoon eileen I got up this morning and, and Robert had been up for a while and he came upstairs and he said he apparently didn't hear me up here mousing around. And he came up and he said, oh, you're up, you're up. And I said, I'm up, I'm up. You want to buy me a present? <laughs> he said, yeah, what do you want? And it was like, I don't know, but I want a present every day. So maybe I'll let him buy me the book. <laughs> and I need a new mouse, too, for my computer. I dropped mine the other day on the cement, believe it or not. And um, I might want more. I'm glad I put a little bit more of that one in because that's sap green. And you know it's a color you're going to use a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to order that damn book today, Eileen. It's all your fault. Hashtag, it is all Eileen's fault. All right, next one is yellow ochre. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue across now. Yellow ochre is another color that I imagine I will be using a lot of. But I have this cool tube and I can always add more. Hi, Brandy. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely eye candy going on here today. And I don't know how long it takes for them to kind of dry. Lena, do you know? I mean, I know you're not familiar with this particular paint, but how long typically does it take these um, wells to dry up? Because I'm going to have to put them inside their um, case and cover it. Otherwise, they'll have cat hair. And Eileen can only stay another few minutes. She's got, that was Rossi and I just put in there. Um, she's got a lunch date at noon. So pretty soon I won't have a boss. It's going to be a regular free for all around here. This is burnt sienna. That's another color I imagine I will use a lot. Because I like the the neutral colors a lot. Burnt umber is next. Isn't that pretty? Look at it. It's no wonder I was so excited. Yeah, I like presents every day, even if it's from Wish. Yep, CB, you get it. It's not realistic, but I sure do like it.
January, I'll have to consider a loaf of bread a present. <laughs> That's it. You're done, girl. You're done. Just would have gone faster if I didn't have to wipe their little butts, but Eileen was really yelling at me. And I don't mind if she did because it made sense to go ahead and wipe them off. This is red brown. And one thing I kind of like about having real watercolors is um, when you watch Lindsay, the frugal crafter, or, you know, like real watercolor people, they always refer to the colors by their pigment, right? Or their real name. But then you get into Jane Davenport's and you've got mermaid blue. Well, what is the equivalent of mermaid blue in like a real name? I don't know. So, yeah, I'm glad I have a set where I know the actual real names. Okay. Your core took two days. Your Windsor only took a day. Okay. You can still swatch them today. Just use the very tip of your round brush into the paint. So I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to. Go ahead and swatch them. I don't think I'm going to do the, the color um, mixing, but I'll save that. This was Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown I love too. It's a uber useful color. So... So that's all of my 24 colors in my 24 color palette. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. New comment above. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's not letting me scroll up, Jean. I don't know why. Sandra's saying two to three days. Can you repeat it, Jean? It's my chat is not um, allowing me to scroll back. I don't know why. It did that the other day too, before it just quit altogether. That's a pretty baby white. Joycey, hi. By the way, I just saw you come in. Um, that's a pretty baby white. All right, it's super cute. This part is one of my favorite about the whole watercolor journey. Yeah, I agree. She's Janet is making me want to swatch your new shin hands I got the other day, but we'll do that on the weekend and take a break from crocheting. Well, I will definitely try and be there. I don't know anything about shin hands. I know you love them. Spot on. Might as well learn the real names from the get-go to avoid confusion. Yes, and that's part of the problem is, you know, with the Primas and and the Jane Davenport, you know, they give them screwball names, and then you're just wondering what the hell. All right, so I need, oh, and while Eileen's here, I'll show really quickly, um, because she is such a pain in the ass. Um, I'll go ahead and put this tray in here now. That can get put away. Don't know where I'm going to keep that, but there we go. It's in its home where it's going to live forever and ever. Amen. And it clicks in. So, But I, if I want this out, I can just yank it out too. So um, when I was going to order the, the palette, I hate to order one thing when I order on Amazon. Is anybody else like that? It's just like, it's almost not worth checking out if you've only got one item in your cart, you know? I mean, I have a bunch saved for later. Um, chat is lagging again. Oh, yay. Um, but yeah, so I, I was wanting to buy some paper, but I was wanting to buy the arches is what I was really wanting. And Eileen said, no, try the... Fabriano um, watercolor paper, hot press. So I went ahead and ordered, and I don't think it was very much. I don't know what I paid for it. Um, but it's only 25% cotton. So I don't know how that's going to work. But um, I think I'm going to do 
I'll play with that later. I think I'll do my swatches on the B paper because that's what I'm most familiar with. But I am going to, probably after Christmas now, um, I'm going to have a lot of expense between now and Christmas because I've got a party on Christmas Eve um, that I've got to prepare for. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to um, <clears throat> wait until January. Hi, Happy Die. You're lurking now. Okay, your dress, time for some cereal and coffee. Okay, well, I have it now, Eileen, so I'll be drawing those flowers on it and watercolor in them. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, Eileen, you might want to look the other way because I cannot do this swatch without um, some measurements. So I need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve across the top, and I've got nine inches. So let's do some math here. I think if look at my hands, uh, I can't stand dirty hands. And they're still dirty around my, this nail. It's still dirty from when I did alcohol inks the other day. Even washing my hair didn't clean it. Fabriano does have 100% cotton as well. It is the Artistico, and I like it better than Arches. Okay, well, then there you go. That'll be what else I order on my um, next order. All right, so let me do some math here. I let my phone die, so um, I have to use like a regular cal calculator. All right, nine inches. So if I do three quarters of an inch, I'm going to go edge to edge, and that's fine with me. That's what we're going to do. All right, so I should have 12 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that. Perfect. And then down, it doesn't matter because I only need three wells. So we'll do, I'll leave a half an inch at the top. And then we'll just do an inch for the wells. And then a quarter inch in between so that I can write the names in. Yeah, that's that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. And in deference to Eileen, I will use my T-square rather than normally if I want it accurate, I would go ahead and make the marks over here. But since she's such a pain in the ass and she freaks out whenever you get a ruler out, I will use my T-square, which should work adequately. And I'm using Micron Pen, which is waterproof. Doesn't work great on the B paper, but that's okay. Oh my God, you made a swatch template. Use that. I could do that, Eileen, but here's my swatch template that I made. The thing is, these turned out to be pretty small squares, Eileen. And by the time I sit and draw around each one, I think I can do this actually faster. But yeah, I did make Eileen and myself a swatch template. Measured it all out. And um, hers is different than mine. I got the new and improved one. Now she's going to want one of those. That line just came up crooked. Urgh. It's okay. We're going to overlook it.
And I did forms design for a living. Um, that's how stuff like this can happen relatively quickly. So, no, I gotta decide. No, I'll go ahead and draw the lines. All right. Just thinking, yeah, because I'm gonna set this up like this in the mixing, yeah, so that's the way I want it. Okay, I just thought, oh my God, I just did this upside down, but I didn't. I did it the way it needs to be done. Okay, so you got three wells and then these just have to go down part way, right? But if I ever buy some more tubes, because I got thinking, oh, if I buy more, you know, should I have gotten like the 48 pallet or something? Um, but I thought, no, I'll just buy half pans and stick them in here and either magnet them down or tape them down or something. Um, so I think I can expand this palette if I want to, you know, up to just a certain number by using half pans in these other um, mixing areas. We'll see. You can already see where my brain's going, right? Okay, and then this one can go all the way down again. <clears throat> Gets tricky when only half of your T square is on the paper, but it's a quick line, so it should be fine. Okay, that'll work perfectly. Now we get to put a paintbrush in them. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my water brush. I don't think it'll hurt anything. I'm gonna use my new one though. Okay, Eileen, go have fun. Are you breeding mini enablers? She is, Dee Dee. That's what she does when she's not watching us. Go have way fun, Eileen. Yeah, she's breeding mini enablers. Okay, so this is backwards for you guys. But I'm just going to, um, I'm going to cut this part of the paper off when I'm done. Um, and then I'll write the names in there. And it will just live in this palette, right? So, oops. Guess it would be a good idea to make sure my brush is clean before I stick it in there. Look how pretty it is. I'm gonna see how far I can make that little tiny dot. And believe me, it was a little tiny dot spread. Look at that little tiny amount is gonna fill up that whole thing. Oh, that's so pretty. That is lemon yellow. And I'll write the names in later. I won't make you guys watch that. Okay. And because I went right up to the line, I'm going to go alternate so that I don't get bleeding. Okay. And the reason I know to do that is because I've done it before. <laughs> Bled all over the damn place. Again, I just used a tiny little amount. We'll see how far we can make it spread. I love water brushes. I really do.
But I have made myself, when I've been um, following Lindsay and, and actually painting, I've been making myself use um, the best brushes I have, which are not great brushes. So at some point in the future, I'm going to have to invest in some decent brushes. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. You know, I love the way you do this, but not enough to get a ruler out. <laughs> Are you another Eileen, Diane? <laughs> the whole drawing thing is so frustrating sometimes. You know, Galena, it is and it's not. Don't put so much pressure on yourself, you know. Just be okay with the way it turns out, you know. Like, even these little um, drawings that we're doing for sketch a day, I mean, I could spend hours and hours and trying to get them just absolutely perfect. Um, but I decided I want them sketchy looking and I'm only going to allow myself 10 minutes. And whatever I can do in 10 minutes to satisfy the prompt is what I'm going to do. Knowing full well, I could probably put in more detail, um, make it look better, you know, but at some point, you have to give yourself permission just to say, you know what, this is cool. I, I like this. And I think that's kind of when your style will start emerging. Um, just by doing Inktober, you know, I've proven to myself that I can make anything look exactly like um, what I'm referencing, right? I mean, I can make Bugs Bunny look just like Bugs Bunny. Um, hang on, somebody's at the door, and I think it's Lane. Why don't you go down and talk to them down there? All right. All right. How's everything? Everything is round. <laughs> I hear you. Down there. Okay. Had to let the neighbor in so he could give Robert some money. But anyway, yeah, I was just lecturing you on, you know, give yourself permission just to be okay with whatever it is. I think your attempt at the, the, hanging towel this morning was excellent and I think Dee Dee's advice to you was also excellent you know more contrast lighter lights darker darks and she says that a lot in her stream you know that I'm gonna get just a little bit more I was pretty chintzy there um is that one of the things that makes her artwork so amazing is that she understands dark and light so, but you can't just pick up a book and expect to do it the first day. Just give yourself time and learn and recognize that every time you do it, you get a little bit better. Are these not pretty? I love that pink. I think that's that pink that I mentioned. Yeah, you shouldn't. Go left to right so you get your hand in the wet squares. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. I should be going this way. All right, when I, after I do the black, I'll switch over here and do that. You're brilliant, Jean. I have learned to move my water brush off to the side when I give it a little squeeze, though. And guess how I learned that? By doing it the wrong way. Isn't that how we mostly learn? You screw up enough times, pretty soon you figure it out. All right. Yeah, see, this will be a decent looking gray. Because you're never going to get a real, I'm going to add some more. You're never going to get a real good black. I watch tons of watercolors talk about that now. I have been watching more. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> All right. I have to read chat. Tracy, you can always choose one of Janet's hundreds of rulers. I do have hundreds of rulers. I can't deny that. Somebody stole my glasses. Please bring them. I can't see chat. Royal Lane Nickel has a great set of watercolor brushes. Zen is what they are called. Amazon has 16 piece set, which is what I started with. Royal Lane Nickel. I better write that down. Um, Um, I was watching, um, oh, Lacry, 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name, Fine Arts. And she said the Simple Simon brushes that um, you can get on the paintbrush guys are pretty good. What pen do I use for my sketches? Um, I, that's another thing that I made myself start doing is um, my go-to pen is always this Hybrid Technica three millimeter, but I thought, you know what? No, or I use a Micron. Micron is my always go-to pen because it's waterproof. This is water resistant, um, but it will bleed if you don't let it dry thoroughly. But I've decided I'm gonna make myself start drawing with my platinum carbon um, fountain pen. So this week, this is what I've used other than day one where I did the um, graphite drawing. I've been using this um, platinum carbon um, fountain pen, and I'm going to continue to use it. So, um, exactly. I mean, something that Jay, just because I know you were saying, I give you the eat pissy pink. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> Can you catch your chat up? All right, let me go ahead and close out chat. I'm five minutes behind on chat. Oh, great. Now it's not going to let me get any chat. Yeah, see, I probably should have kept that chat. That was my problem the other day. I don't know what it is with the chat program. So now I can't see chat at all. But anyway, this is um, the only thing I can do at this point is stop and start over unless because when I hit the restore chat, nothing happens so um yep that's what i've been using oh their chat finally came up lady true north just came in okay even if i do that i don't think i can um <laughs> and i can't read it on the black background so i have to have pop out chat all right we're moving on and i'll try and get the chat figured out. So I'm just going to be um, chatting about five minutes behind you guys, I guess. There's coffee if you want it. How about you? No, I'm good. I fixed one before I started. But thank you. I got new watercolors. Don't even think about it. This is my pestola of a neighbor, Lane, and he's just coming up here to bug the hell out of me, apparently. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to move over to this side because Gene made me. The other day, Tuesday. So if I start up here in the corner, it will be good. All right, Thank sorry you. if my chat's goofed yeah, up, awesome. guys, because right now I have none. Say the $1,800. Okay, are you Osage? Are you really Osage? I'm on both Osage and Tri and Cherokee roles. I'm on both. Really? So's my I'm dad. I went up to the tag it to the Osage Nation. Three hundred and eighty bucks. Oh, Pro yeah. tag H they wanted twenty two hundred bucks. Oh my god, that's really ridiculous. Sick. Talking about getting his Indian tags. He's on ropes. Yeah. But I went and got me a I went and got me the new Federal recognized IDs. Now they'll take these at the airports and all that. Oh, yeah. Listen to these two guys chatting in the background. <laughs> you look like a criminal. Ah, get out of here. <laughs> I don't have no criminal. Asshole, maybe, but no criminal. <laughs> okay, now the ladies are hearing all the real words. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right. It's okay. They've heard me say worse. All right, my chat is still not working, you guys, so. 
Let me try and restore it, and I'll have to deal with the they black. Anyway. They can hear you. I yeah. promise you. I can't hear what they're saying, but I promise you they can hear you. Hang on. It might take a minute. Let's look at your evil self. You do look like a criminal. I'll give you that. <laughs> My mother says I'm a delight. Yeah.